Hi everybody, in this video we're going to be showing off the new load combination feature and how to import load combinations from design codes. Now imagine this structure here to be a building. Don't pay too much attention to the magnitude of the units, I just made them up. But if you imagine these two point loads to be live loads or imposed loads, say for example this is a meeting room and a group of people congregate in this area for a short period of time, so they're modeled by weight by point loads. Now we've assigned a load group of live. So this is just a name you come up with yourself, but this means we've grouped them together. If you imagine this load, this distributed load to be a rain load group, and you imagine these two distributed loads to be roof live loads, these two on the side to be snow loads from this pitched roof from the weight of the snow we can now take a look at the load combination feature so if you hit the import button here you're asked to select the country we're going to do the United States but there are various options for other countries and then we select the design code so for this example we're going to be using ASD or allowable strength design so I'm going to hit display then you're presented with um, a box asking you to assign load types so you'll notice that each drop down here represents the load group we just defined. So SW is self-weight, which we turned on. So self-weight, I'm going to assign dead. So live load, for this, I'm going to assign live. Snow load, we're going to assign snow. Roof live, we're going to assign roof live. And rain, we're going to assign rain here. So one thing you may notice is that there is a category snow and then a subcategory of snow, roof live, and rain. So the reason for this is because in the various load combinations, you are presented with an or choice in the equation. So because there is a choice between three of these different variables representing snow, roof live, and rain, we categorize them as one overall category so that we only choose one of these whenever we apply the equation. However, because this is all in one load combination for convenience, the way we handle these cases is that this load combination will actually generate three equations to be able to represent it. So pay attention to the um, factors or coefficients in front of the various um, variables. And so I'm just going to import this one load combination, hit the import button, now we go back into the data sheet. So you'll notice that just by importing that one load combination, I've generated three equations. So self weight is always one, live is always 0 0.75, but in this case, 0 0.75 is only applied to one of these cases. So in the first equation, you'll notice that snow is active, but roof and rain are not active, so they're assigned zero coefficients. Then in the next equation, snow and rain are zero, but roof live is 0 0.75. And then also similarly, snow and roof live are zero, and rain is now 0 0.75. So in this way, we're able to handle all the different cases and permutations of the load combination equation. So going back real quick, and reassigning the equations you can just as easily insert every other equation here however I just want to turn your attention to equation 6b so you will notice that QS which is the type snow but in the equation it specifically mentions 0 0.75 snow so there's no or scenario in this case so you might imagine you might be generating three equations however when you hit the import button you'll notice that we did take into account um, what the equation is specifically asking and so we only apply one equation and we apply 0 0.75 to the snow variable here we also have some comprehensive documentation here on the various l load combinations from the various design codes and an explanation about how the design code equations are satisfied by the SkySiv equations with some various comments that we have here and an example at the bottom. So I hope this has been helpful for your understanding. Please have a look at
the new feature and give us some comments. Um, we look forward to hearing from you. Thanks and bye for now.